It's Coach Josh, Train for Warriors Portland here, and I want to show you a, a, a value that we have here at Train for Warriors, and it's called gameness. And gameness is courage. Courage is a pretty important value to hold for yourself because it's the value that protects all the other values. If you don't have courage, how are you going to be selfless when it's inconvenient or, or when you have to take a risk that you know you might lose something or if you don't have courage how are you going to do something you've never done before and get better and learn something you never learned before which is eminent, you know a preeminent feature in a lot of the growth that's required for us to be our best selves and you know game you know having raw courage is not the same thing as having no fear it's acting in spite of fear and i think a lot of people understand that but staring fear in the face like for long periods of time, it makes the fear larger and it, and it inhibits our ability to act. So what do you do? How do you set yourself up for success around fear? And, and I will give you one story that is uh, from my life that has helped me tremendously. And, and uh, the, the, I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran. I used to be a paratrooper in the United States Army. And when you're in airborne school, uh, one of the things they do to mentally prepare you to jump out of a plane is one you practice doing it with without consequences you you, you you jump and repeatedly repeat your landing fall where you roll on the ground the way that you're going to roll when you hit the earth because you're going about 15 20 miles an hour when you hit the earth anyway because the chutes are they slow you down but they certainly don't stop you so they get you prepared for that and you, you just practice doing all the same things you're doing when the stakes are low and then they put you in a tower and so you can kind of get you know three or four stories above the ground and see what that's like and then I mean, you know, the, the third week they put you on a plane and, and they, they, it's a real simple, it's a real simple structure they use to get you to, to jump out of the plane. And it is, once you get on the plane, there's about 50 of you that walk in the back and they shut the cargo hatch. Once you get on the plane, the only way out is through the jump door. Take, there's no options, you got no choices. And you don't have to worry about your fear because the only you got to go through it. That's really what happens. And, and it's, it's a beautiful thing because I was terrified. I, was, I remember I was 18 years old and I was certain that my chute wasn't going to open and I was going to die because I'm special. I'm the only one that was going to, or, you know, I wasn't going to be able to pull my reserve chute. I was, def, I was definitely going to die. But I had no choice. Couldn't go out the back door, so I had to go out. And, and you're stuck, all these people around you, and what are you going to do? So I had to practice acting in spite of fear because of the environment was structured that way. And, and that's, it's a beautiful thing when you take away any option to go back. You know, the old story of burning the boats behind you so that you have no chance to get back and to escape and go back home. The only way out is to win. It's helpful. It's actually really helpful, especially when the stakes are high in the case of an airborne operation or starting a business like you want to be all, you want to be committed to that and you don't want to have one foot in and one foot out the door so creating a structure in your life so that you have fewer choices or maybe no choices that aren't going forward might be a way to create gameness for yourself and give yourself some of that courage that you need to take action and do the things that you need to do well Thank you for listening to my story on gameness, and I hope you get some in your life. This is Coach Josh, Training Warriors Portland, helping you bring out the warrior within.